Today we're starting our multi-video series on our trip to Iceland. We had a great time and we want to give you some tips and tricks that'll hopefully help you, if you haven't been to Iceland before, navigate Iceland and know what to take and have a lot of fun? Yeah. Have a lot of fun. So we, to start off with, today's video will be, what do we take photo gear wise? So we took two cameras, a Sony a7R II and a Sony a7R. I took the Sony a7R purposely because everybody gives it so much crap on the internet. I wanted to prove that we can make some good photos with it and we'll be showing you some throughout these videos. And we, wonderful photos with it. And weather sealing wasn't a big deal. So with our 21 millimeter wide angle lens, only 12% of the photos we took were from that. So you should probably leave it at home. Yeah, so we took a 21, meter, 21 millimeter Loxia 35 millimeter Loxia and the 85 millimeter Loxia. The whole time the 35 and the 85 stayed mounted on a camera and the 21 came out eh, once or twice for the waterfall photo we're going to show you here because we hiked down to the base and we needed 21 millimeter. Other than that, leave it at home. Why do you leave your wide angle at home in Nelson? Because you have to be very far away because you can't walk up to an active volcano. Yeah, so the volcanoes, the, the landscape architecture, even the waterfalls, you're gonna be a good ways away. So 35 and 85 made a, a really good duo. And, and it handled all the photos we took and never once complained about having anything longer. Sony cameras are fine for the weather ceiling because we saw high winds, rain, sand, but it really wasn't too big of a deal. Yeah, again, like I mentioned earlier, Weather sealing on the cameras, use your brain, be smart, don't go dipping them in the ocean, you should be okay. Uh, you know, the A7R survived a rainstorm, which surprised me, and it doesn't have very good weather sealing. We're okay. We stored everything in a Peak Design 20L backpack. And that backpack was on the big side for what we thought we needed. And it turned out to be a little bit on the big side for what we did need. Uh, we carried our food with us throughout the day in water, so it helped out there. But that, that was a good backpack. So when it did rain, I didn't have to worry about pulling out a rain cover. Bam, backpack was water resistant. So I highly recommend. Do you highly recommend? Yeah. We both highly recommend the Peak Design 20L. One of the few backpacks that are water resistant. Yeah, really is. We would recommend using a cell phone to geotag your location every minute, every 30 seconds, whatever you want to do there. And then come back and and geotag those to your photos so you know where you took those photos. And you may say, but Eric, I'll remember that it was this waterfall. And I'll say, but yes, but good luck finding that on a map when you're English or American and can't read squat on an Icelandic <laughs> map. Because that is one hard language, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So do that. Even if your camera has built-in GPS, I would still recommend having a backup. You should bring a small tripod, nothing big, fancy expensive but you don't really need it you should take a wee little stopper also to get the type images you want if you want them yeah we use the lee little stopper if you take the big stopper in iceland you're going to be there all day long and you don't you don't want to do that at best we just wanted a second or two of long exposure so we could get that silky smooth look from some of the waterfalls but, but we also record the waterfalls uh, with a faster frame rate so we can get a more natural look as well, because who knows if we go back? We probably are. Yeah, we probably <laughs> are. It was a great, absolutely fantastic time. So tr travel tripod, small. We had a small carbon fiber, Ben Rose, like $110. Uh, we'll put a link below in the description. We'll link to everything in the description below. You're going to need to clean your lenses and possibly your camera sensor in Iceland just so much water if you hike close to those waterfalls or you're caught out in the rainstorm there's just no way around it you're you're going to get your stuff dirty so, so we'll link below to one of the kits we use that we could clean the end of our lenses and also we had to do a sensor clean once on the sony a7r uh, we didn't like to change lenses i don't advise changing lenses unless you have to maybe that's something you can do inside your car but inevitably some crap is going to get on your sensor and you're going to, need to get that cleaned so take it with you Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and mash that bell. And also, don't forget, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've started back up again. Go to ralphieries.com and subscribe.
and match that bow. And then you want to talk about the Peak Design camera straps. It could, it could because the camera strap uses it just clips onto these things real quick, so you can change cameras. Why is just, that useful? 